Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. So a couple weeks ago I made a video about how you can use an app to simulate Spotify's year-end recap, that nifty little feature they have that just shows you what you've been listening to for the past year or for the past uh, the first 10 months of the year anyway. But the app had a lot of bugs, I had a lot of comments of people saying that the app just crashed, uh, but it's clear that you guys were looking for more and I did promise an even better and more foolproof way that is semi from Apple themselves. Apple still hasn't released their official version of this year in recap music review, which I wish they would, but there's a pretty cool workaround. So the first thing you want to do is head over to privacy.apple.com and you sign in and you're going to want to request your App Store, iTunes Store, iBook Store, and Apple Music data. You can enter in the max file size. I did 25 gigabytes to be safe, but then the compressed file size ended up being 25 megabytes um, when it came through. It took a week for me to get this, which was seemingly a long time for, again, a 25 megabyte compressed file. Uh, the file size is going to be a lot bigger once you unzip it, um, but you do request it, and it will take up to a week, I'd say about four to seven days it'll likely get to you. And once they do send you that file, you open it up, um, you unzip it, and you locate the Apple Music Play Activity.csv file. This is what you're looking for. If you actually open this up, it's really cool. It gives you all of your Apple Music listening history. Mine goes back to 2015. I had so many records that it couldn't fit it all into Apple's numbers uh, software. So it went up to, to like 2016 or something with like 60,000 entries or something crazy like that. You can see literally every song you've ever played. It'll tell you the time that you played it, um, whether you skipped the song, whether you would listen to it all the way through, like all that kind of data is there and it's crazy. That's all right there. Now to interpret this data and to analyze it, um, next thing you're going to want to do is head over to music.patmurray.co. This is a site that is going to analyze that data. Um, the claim is that it never leaves the browser. The data just stays within the browser, analyzes it, does the calculations, and then gives you some nice infographics and information about your listening usage. I trust this, and I don't think that the music is going to be going anywhere. It shouldn't. After all, it is just music data. But if you're concerned with it, then this is an issue. But Otherwise, I didn't really mind putting in this data um, and trusting that it stays in the browser. And then once you have that, you are good to go. You can look through your music listening history, see some data, some trends, um, and you can even do this up until 2019. So basically, as soon as you submit the request to Apple for your data, um, it will have your listening history up until then. You can see how your music tastes trend. Um, if they are the same, if they're different, looking back at old playbacks and Apple Music usage. So let me know what you think about this method. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Again, this will take about a week uh, to get this information sent to you, up to a week. Uh, but that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.